In this video, I'm gonna introduce scripts. And scripts are important because they add behavior to your game, right? You have to be able to do stuff in the game. You have, you have to have the game react to you and the players. You can't just have a whole bunch of cool stuff laying around here doing nothing, or it's just gonna be artwork, right? So we need the script. Let's go ahead and get started with that. And what I wanna do is get my view tab here, get this output window, and that way we can see stuff like print statements and errors in this output window. Right, whenever you script, you're gonna need the output window. All right, let's go back to the home tab. And I'm gonna add a part. And I'm gonna add the script to the part so that we could do stuff with the part. Right, so my part's right here in the workspace under the Explorer window. I'm gonna hit this plus sign. And I can see script here, but you might not have it. So just do script. And you're gonna see three types of scripts. We're gonna use this one, script, right? It's known as a server script. We're going to go through all those scripts, but this is going to be the simplest one that we're starting out with. Script. It runs on the server. And we get this print hello world in our script. See, we switch to the script. This is the base plate. That's the script, right? Base plate, script. That's a little bit tricky sometimes when you're just starting out. All right, so what's going to happen is we're going to print everything in between those speech quotes down here into the output window. Let's do it. Let's play. Boom. Here we go. Wow. Hello world. Right? There it is. This is running on the server. This is the name, which is called script. Right now you should be thinking, hey, if we have like 50 scripts, maybe we should name them differently so we can see what script is printing what. And that's, that's very true. Right? But we only have one and we are going to rename it. And this is the line number. Cool. You got a lot of information. Right? So if you mess up, let's say... You accidentally did that and you played your game. Ah, oh, look at that, right? Part, script, line two. I, I don't know. It gets you close. Expected this thing here. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's click on it. Hmm. Ah, oh, look, red line. Look at that. It even kind of tells you expected that uh, close parenthesis, right? We can go like this. We got to stop it and play it again. It'll work. Trust me, it'll work. So anything in, in those uh, speech quotes is a string, a sequence of characters. A, a print statement doesn't matter. It doesn't care what's in there. So you could be like, one, two, three, four, five. I like cookies, whatever, right? We'll print it, we'll play it, and it'll print. Another thing that you should be aware of, you can add multiple strings to be printed. So they add a comma, so it's comma delimited, that's the term they use, and say, I hate vegetables. I should have I should have given an easier word to spell. I think that's right though. All right, let's play that. Bam. Look at that. Uh, and then the I hate vegetables was appended. It uh Roblox print is pretty is pretty friendly. It added a space in there, even though we did not have spaces in between here and here. Right, so if you're used to C or Java, JavaScript, um, that would just concatenate that right there. You would have a space. All right, cool. That's um, that's nice to know. But you're like, hey, I want to add behavior. You just printed out some stupid stuff. So let's go ahead and add some behavior. What we need to do is we need to get hold of that part right here. We need this part so that we can get to its properties and start doing stuff. So if you'll notice, this script is attached to that part. The script is actually the child of the part. The part is the parent of the script. And I'll get more into that. If I do this local, and let's make a variable name called block, script.parent. This script means this thing here. It's a general word. If I change the name of script to first script, it doesn't matter. This is a special word in Roblox. It means the thing that you're coding in right now, right? So that has a property. If we look down at a property called parent, parent has part as the property. That's cool. Oops, let me click on that. If you click on this, it's going to let you select a parent, but we want to keep it on the part, right? So script.parent is essentially the part variable is just the name I gave it. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it cheeseburger, but it should make sense. So it looks like a block. I'm calling it a block. This is assignment, 
right? So what we're doing is we're assigning the part to the variable block. And this right here is scope for local. Its scope is uh, where a variable can be seen. And it's saying, hey, this is local to this script. It can be seen in this script. It can't be seen in other places. There's a global modifier too, but that's fine. Um, just know that local is for scope and you're not really going to need to know that much more about that, right? Roblox is pretty good at keeping scope um, contained anyway. So let's see, let's do something with our block. I talked a lot about this block. Let's do a printout of the color. The blocks color is, right? We'll say block. Oh, we have that dot operator, right? For the properties. What do I want? Brick color? Yeah, brick color. It's right here. If we get our part, brick color, medium stone gray. If we go and play this, we should see medium stone gray. Great, we were able to print it out. Can we change stuff? We can change it. Let's go to our base plate, click the block, hit the move, move this up. I'm gonna show you another property. It's called anchored. Guess what anchored does? Anchored keeps it from moving, right? So anchored, that thing's not gonna move. You could jump on it, it's not gonna move. Cool, let's check it out. All right, I can come up, boom, I jumped on it. It's not gonna move. Let's make it move after seven seconds. Let's make it fall, right? Or let it fall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait seven seconds. Wait, that's a special uh, Roblox statement. Seven seconds. So it gives you little hints in there too. Do you see that delay? So the script is gonna stay right here for seven seconds. If I do a two, it's gonna be two seconds. You get the idea, right? Not that hard, cool. Then what I want to do is get my block, get my anchored property, and I checked this where, that was archivable, where's my anchored? Here it is, anchored, anchored. Checked means true, not checked means false. This is a Boolean value. It could be true or false, two values. We don't have checks in here, right? We have text, so we have to use true and false. We can't use check and unchecked. That wouldn't make sense. I, I guess it'd be all right, but true and false is traditionally what we use. Let's go ahead and, uh, and play it, right? So after seven seconds, we're gonna unanchor it. That part's gonna fall. Should've made it five. Boom, there we go. Pretty exciting, right? You are well on your way to making some cool games. Should we do one more? Let's just do one more. Let's change the color black, right? Let's do, change it to the color black. So we'll say block brick color equals brick color dot, and there's a black in here, black. So notice different properties can only take certain types of data. If I put like a five in here, you get an error. Let's do that, five. Oh, you know what, we have that weight. Let's get, let's, let's comment out the weight Put those two dashes, and now the Roblox interpreter is going to skip right over that. Computer's not going to see it. It's going to it's going to fire immediately. We should get an error. Ah, we did. Unable to assign property brick color expected or brick color expected got number. Sweet, right? So different types of properties need different types of data. This needs a brick color data, and we have one. Block black, All right? So let's play it. Oh, it's just going to be black. Let's put the weight back in. See, there it is. Black and it fell. But we want it to be exciting, right? Maybe the six, maybe make it six seconds. I could have saved that time just not doing that. Here we go. Wow, that's pretty cool, right? You are well on your way to game programming. All right, and the next video... We're gonna add some. We're gonna add some more cool stuff, and we'll do some if statements and conditionals, and you'll be good to go. You'll be up and running. Now we're gonna do like 20 of these videos.